ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Duskers. Uh, last time, if you remember, we were building the Dream Team, and in the process of so doing, uh, we are very successful. We got ourselves a lot of scrap, we got some good modules, we got a quarantine bypass for our ship, which is awesome. Uh, I actually got us a new ship in the end, which is uh, very cool. And, um, yeah, we just flipped out and did all, did all kinds of things. Uh, and now we are uh, here in, uh, we just handled a, uh, a big, big old ship class here. The, uh, well, this used to be, the, the Justice Rider is what used to be our ship. We took command of a class A type ship. Um, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of drones. I'm going to keep one as a backup, I think, for now. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got uh, we've got our attack drone, our general doing stuff drone, the power drone, and the uh, gathering drone. So there we go. Uh, we don't really have any particular plans other than continuing to look for um, things to improve our drones and tasks that we might do. So let's uh, let's move on. This will be the last ship for this system here if we're not able to. Um, if we're not able to find some more uh, jump or a P fuel in your propulsion fuel. Notice that uh, this particular ship here is a medical class C, so it's a little bit smaller. Notice the age is volatile. That means it's not impossible that we will have ourselves a uh, an event in the uh, course of the infiltration here. And look at that. It looks as if we have our first uh, medical uh, task. And as, as I said, the, the first task in all the different lines, the quest lines that we get are going to be investigate more, so we're meant to investigate more medical ships and to investigate more muteki ships. So, just like before, we get uh, a view into one of the rooms in here. So let's see what all we got. Oh, we, we, the uh, jump fuel's right here in the first room. That is handy. So, uh, yeah, let's have you begin to power this. What do we get? Oh, we did get a, a propulsion fuel. Maybe we can make that last ship in this sector with that. That'll be nice. Okay, uh, so notice, if you will, though, that uh, we don't have any open rooms. So I was wrong. Uh, no, when I said there would always be an open room. Turns out that's not necessarily the case. So let's go ahead and move Noah back here and uh, shut that door. And a bit dangerously. Okay, I see there are vents in here. Oh, and then there was a guy in this room too, wasn't there? This looks like uh, one of the basic uh, droid droidobots. Nothing really else in there, so let's see what else we have. This was the room we had seen before, and my goodness, if there isn't uh, also an enemy in here. Okay. So what we have is now a good, uh, oops, shut D6, uh oh, uh, okay, that's okay, okay, is anybody still in here? Yes, two people are in here now, and I am right about out of, oh no, oh I'm out of, uh, okay, 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 I'm alive. Uh, well, that's what it looks like when the animal attacks, and only because I was at absolutely full health was I able to survive that at stinking all. Um, okay, well, what do you say then, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, we have two options. I could try to get both of those enemies and get that scrap that's in room R2, which I kind of want to do. Uh, or, of course, we could just book it out of here, but where's the fun in that? Worst case is I lose a drone, right? Yes, I'm fully aware of the schematic view, thank you. Not what I'm into right now. So, let's open up D6. Wait till we see. Somebody coming through? Anybody gonna come on in here? Yes. Okay. So let's shut that. Now, let's do a little quick tango here. Okay, in and out. Not bad. And... Yes, I know what I'm doing. Okay. We have now... Um, vented this room to the outside. So... 
And there we go. It looks like everything is in order, and that is uh, completely dealt with. Let's wait for the... What am I doing? Wow. Uh, let's get ourselves in order here. Turn on stealth, for heaven's sake, before we start doing that. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I think I... Yeah, I said stealth to boo. Okay. So now, we're going to do that again, and now all the enemies are gone from the ship. And so... Let's... Uh, yeah. Let's send Drone 1 in here to get that remaining scrap, which we can use to repair, uh... Fortunately, and I do mean fortunately, uh, I had just enough health to survive, and also fortunately, the deal with those um, deal with those enemies is the the biological enemies is they do a big leap and then they kind of sit for a while, and so fortunately I was right by the door, was able to get through and close the door uh, before you know anything else nasty happened. So. Yeah, it could have been more successful, I suppose. Uh, I, you know, we have to repair stealth, and the health is dropping. Unfortunately, we didn't get enough fuel to make it to the, uh, bat Batachian? Batachian? Whatever. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's sell some stuff. Uh, well, sell some stuff and then upgrade some stuff. So, I want to repair stealth, because that's really not up for debate. Uh, this interface module we can just flat out sell, and that'll um, lower the blow of having to do that a little bit. Uh, reroute power? I don't know. I don't know if I care about this one or not. Remote power is really good, and I want to keep it. Quarantine bypass has a, is, it's been used for two missions already. Interesting. Um, and the failure rate is up. Oh, and then I need to repair my drone's health, don't I? Okay, well, it might be worth, in, the, in this case, uh, converting reroute power into scrap, just so that I make sure I have enough uh, to fully do all that. And you know what? I have enough to increase the speed, and I might as well do that on my combat drone as well. So, boop. Uh, does this... Oh, does, does, the, does my drone that was attacked have a broken video signal? No, it doesn't. Thank goodness. Okay. So now we've got a speed boost, speed boost on both the collector and the um, uh, and the attack drone. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, also, I I have a list of uh, names for the first set of drones. I actually uh, have not put it through the the randomizer yet. So at the end of this update. I will be posting the name of, of our new drones, but it's still Noah, Orson, Cliff, and Holly for now. Okay, well that was our first attack, and we were able to survive it, and more importantly, we have enough propulsion fuel to make it to this circled galaxy here. So let's see what else is going on in here. Now, uh, this is still a place that I can't get to, an outpost. I need a transporter in my ship to get there. We start right here at the Stargate, which is a little bit of a bummer, because I don't want to go too far uh, to where I won't have the ability to get back. So let's just zip down to the private, uh, we'll hit the auto trader, and then back up to the Stargate. Okay, Stargates I will obviously talk more about when we actually do them, but uh, let's begin. So this is a big old ship here. Uh, we've got two infestation types. Um, it's volatile again, so something spooky might happen. I see to my extreme pleasure that there do seem to be uh, ship defenses on here. You see that the pathing isn't great. It looks like Noah always gets stuck on Holly there, and I have to kind of move him around manually. They do a good job of make, like, giving you a reason to go into drone view rather than just schematic view, although if I wasn't doing an LP, I admit I would be uh, much more just doing things from the, um, from the schematic view. Okay, only one guy there... Okay, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's send, let's send Holly out into it. As before, the concerns, uh, are that we have limited, uh, failure amounts. So in other words, we try to keep everybody sealed to the extent that we can. What do we got? Okay, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, this is bad. Uh, okay. 
Okay, twice in as many missions. Uh, that could have gone better, ladies and gentlemen. Um, literally was just blundered right into that thing. And yes, stealth is great. And no, it does not work 100% of the time. Okay, uh, so... Let's try to be a little spooky here and lure this guy out. You know what? Let's, uh... Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And look, uh, he hates the lure. Oh, he's an organic enemy, so he hates the lure. And he would have hated me if I... Uh, hadn't done that thing with the stealth. The other thing to remember about the stealth field is that it temporarily deactivates uh, after you use it, so you can't just s slap it on and off uh, like I seemed to be wanting to do. Nevertheless, uh, let's actually uh, mark... Ten. Uh, uh, not mark... Um, what's the term? Flag. Uh, flag. There we go. Now we know where that guy is. Now, there's a, um... There is a grate in here, which really could be better. Uh, I don't know if we have the enemy that can fit through the grates yet, but, uh... If we do, that's a bummer. Okay. We know where that defense turret is. So let's just... Turn it on, and... Okay! R2, um... Where is R2? Uh... Oh, it's got to be that room then, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, so there uh, we have three defensive tur turrets somewhere around that we've activated. And it looks like R2 is sealed off, which indicates to me that it ought to be safe at this point. Uh, just in case, though... Uh, let's get in there. What's D2? Is there a D2? Yeah. Anyway, uh, it looks like it was one of the mechanical enemies, maybe? It's kind of messy in here. It's hard to really tell. Uh, but regardless, wait for our stealth to get back up. Okay, let's go... Uh, See what all we got in here. Gonna want to keep a slightly better eye out for enemies than I have been. Okay, let's leave D5 open. Yeah. Let's give him a second to get his, uh... Get his, um... Stealth back up. And in the meantime, I'll collect the scrap that was left in there. Okay. So, people have been commenting in the thread, the uh, relatively low amount of time uh, before things go, like, very wrong in this game, and yes, that is, they are correct. Uh, really, the only thing that's kept me alive so far has been, yeah, you can see it with this guy, uh, with, with Noah's sensors better, that was indeed one of those uh, blammo bots. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that scrap, it's just too in there, but that's fine, that's one scrap, I'll, I'll survive, okay, oh, uh, fat fingering is a real problem, okay, we got another interface terminal down here, uh, let's close the door behind us, what say, again, uh, as enemies get more and more mobile, my goodness, the terminal's in here, uh, okay, okay, so, let's close Eight. And, um, we know that he's in there now. Okay. This can work for us, and I'll tell you how, uh, if we... Actually, if I already made... Uh, no. Defense. Let's do that. Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we know that he's in R13. So let's... There we go! And... Uh, oh, that's a bit of a bummer. Ah, oh, that's probably fine. Um, just means I can't close that door now, because unfortunately, his big old uh, mechanical corpse is a block in it. Still, that's... Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 
not you. Right. Oh, you hear that noise? That means something fun's about to happen. Let's make sure everybody is within decent range of uh, of the exit here. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, it looks like that room just broke. Yes, it did. Okay. Well, we found the room that broke, and Holly has got four HP. My word, is Holly taking a beating. Oh, do I want to keep going with her? Ah, I've got a spare drone. I think everything should be fine. Oh, no. Uh... Heck, heck. Oh, that's real bad. Uh, but are we safe now? No, we're not, because that darn door is open. Okay, uh, let's try a rescue. Uh, who's got my towing? Uh, that is Cliff. D19, go 3R2, go 2R1. If it starts to get too bad for Cliff, I'm just going to get him out of there. Uh, and I am going to take manual control. Okay, tow. I think we can do this. Oof. All right, all right, all right. It's not ideal. No one's saying that this is ideal. No one would ever say that. Okay. <sighs> all right. Well. Well. Polly is still alive. That's the important thing. Um, do I want to try to dock at A4? And salvage something. I kind of think I don't. I kind of think I don't. Because who knows, if there's no power in there, or if there's something ugly, then that could be real bad. At the same time, this isn't just a game. This is an LP. So let's get the flip over there and roll these dice, ladies and gentlemen. Some may call me foolish, and, uh, yeah. But I'm gonna shut this door the second I detect anything. Anybody? 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 Okay? Okay, we got defenses, and we got our fuel intake in here. Uh, so... Okay. I would've liked it better if we'd found any power in here. Um... We found a jump cell. That was worth it. Uh... Hey, I can actually do that, can't I? I actually can. Uh, my remote power has let me... It was just one for the whole ship. Okay. You know what? We've got another plan, because now that that remote power is active, we are going to get... Uh, we don't need Orson to be powering it. We are going to put him in here where he's safe... And we are going to use a little used thing so far. We're going to swap with Noah, get him the stealth. Because really, at this point, our only goal is um, getting some scrap to make up for the terrible losses we have suffered. So, in we go. And I see a terminal in here, which means we can power those defenses. I see some scrap. I don't see any bad guys, so that's nice. Okay, uh, let's... Let's, uh, oh. Let's send in our interface expert into here. And... Shut all these doors, and... Okay, turn on all of our defenses. And, uh, I'm going to do a trick that I haven't actually done much of yet, which is, okay, are they still live? Are they still live in, uh, the ones over there? I don't think they are, but it doesn't actually matter. I'm just going to turn everything, I'm just going to, like, open up all the doors that don't connect to me, right, because I want to be safe myself. Uh... And I'm just, I've already encountered two enemy types. So it's possible that those were the only ones that were in here. And like, you know, nobody else is in this ship or whatever. Uh, but I'm just gonna like, give this a second or two. 
just see if anybody gets exploded. And actually, while we're doing this, let me uh, open all and slam equals close all. So, oh, uh, no, and control S for save. Look at that! Oh, look at that! Look at that! R11. Uh, okay, that's where the defenses are. And it looks like two extra guys got killed. So that's nice. Um, let's now... Oh, did I not save that? I thought, uh, I thought all would work for everything. Oh, do I need to, uh, yeah. Thanks. No spaces. Okay. There we go. Okay. A lot of doors won't open because they're blocked with, uh, corpses at this point, but that's fine. Oh, I guess I knew there was at least one enemy up there, right? Because I knew that the guy in R10 was still alive. Still, uh... Let's, uh, let's go see what we can see. Again, closing the door behind us. Just to minimize danger of danger. Little known fact, danger is actually one of the most dangerous things. Okay, so we had two living type enemies here. Real jerks, both of them. Okay. Uh, there's really only two rooms that I haven't explored at this point. I'm hoping that there won't be much in the way of enemies there. Um, and if there are, they won't be near a, uh, terminal. So I'm gonna get Cliff... Why... Cliff, why is this... What's going on with Cliff's, uh, video feed here? Looks a little shaky. I wonder if I'm gonna have to repair it or something. You alright, Cliff? Alright, that seems to have fixed it up. Degauss, a little used... Um, command, but very useful. So, oops. No. I, I, what the problem was, and I know I've said this before, but, like, I got a, a new, ooh, a ship upgrade. Alright, I can sell that if nothing else. I got a new keyboard, and the numbers are spaced a little bit differently apart. Okay. So... Extra scrap is always nice. I am absolutely not going to go and get that stuff in uh, R2 there. What kind of upgrade is it? It's a quarantine bypass, isn't it? And it's in better shape than my other one, which means uh, I can sell that other one. So, let's send 3 to R8. And send... Uh... Oh. Again, you can see that the uh, the pathfinding is in, in no way perfect, so... Out. Poor Holly. I only thank goodness that she wasn't irreparably damaged, because that can totally happen and is obviously more expensive to replace. Um, yeah. So, we're going to save that up, that uh, ship upgrade. I'm very glad I rolled the die on this. Um, this wasn't guaranteed to work at all. There might have been just a whole host of now. Oh my goodness! There's an asteroid coming in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and you can see how it goes. Um, these various rooms have chances of being hit. If they're hit, they're just obliterated, uh, and everything near them is just in a real bad way, too. Uh, well, uh, that, if that happens in the beginning of your exploration, it's obviously much worse, but let's uh, limp out of here licking our wounds, ladies and gentlemen. We have had a rough run of luck, I'll say that, however... We have, uh, managed to... Yeah, I need to sell both of these quarantine bypasses. I think, actually, what I really need to do is... Replace this one with one of the good ones. And, because we're just about to go to this auto trade center here, um, I will be able to sell my bad quarantine bypass for the same amount of scrap as uh, one of the ones that uh, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to keep one I'm gonna keep one quarantine bypass and one remote power. You can see that they're out of scrap at this point. Uh, let's see. Shield is real good. It does what you think. Mine, I might want. Motion detector is that is that first one I had. I think I'm going to keep stealth, even though motion is really good. Uh, mine is kind of like trap, only it's a bit more damaging. Um, I'm going to hold off on it for now, and the reason is I want to buy... Uh, 
a propulsion, and I, I don't know if that's going to be enough to get me back, but uh, let's just see if it is. No, no, I need one more, so I need to... Uh, oh, I can, uh, can't, I have to craft. So let's see, I've only got two propulsion. Well, now let's see. I guess... Oh, I have enough now. Alright, cool. Uh, so, let's just take a second here, and we are going to have to do a whole bunch of uh, repairing. There we go. Holly is back to fit and fighting fiddle, and we don't even have to sell her or anything. John here that we have on standby, I might actually just convert into scrap because we are hurting for scrap at this point in time. Thank goodness more of our modules aren't failing, though again, as you can see, those days are swiftly approaching. We may have to sell lure and trap and stuff like that as, the, as we go along. Lure especially, um, it was fine, but you can kind of do what you want to do with it anyway, just by opening doors. Uh, but I think I'm going to keep it for now. And trap, of course, I'm going to want to, uh, to show off. It's, it's fun. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's head over to this Stargate here, and we will jump, and we jump to an unknown part of the galaxy. We're here in the Pegasus system, Pegasus universe. Uh, we'll now jump to the Anuntheran, and it's a big old jump. And uh, yeah, that's what you get for getting to a Stargate. You get to go to a whole different uh, different part of the universe. We can jump back if we want to as well. So that's fine. Here we are in the Anunthran Galaxy, and oh, it is absolutely full of just awful junk. Uh, one and two infestation types is still what I'm seeing. We've got a quarantined uh, space station up here that'll be very interesting to go to, and I'm afraid that's about as much as excitement as I'm going to be able to stand for just this uh, just this update. But ladies and gentlemen, next time uh, we will continue. Pretty soon, I'm going to want to get a further direction on where we should go. I still want to get one upgrade for our fighter, which is the gun upgrade, but I think uh, we, we're to the point now where we've got a pretty solid rotation of drones. Again, names are going to be incoming um, for these, but I'm, we're going to want to basically pick a ship type to start investigating, and of the uh, kinds that we have so far, we have oh we got a we got a message called hey you again I'll post all the messages on the thread and stuff like that uh, but we can investigate the pandemic theory uh, looking into medical communications or the singularity theory where we're looking for new techies or you can say that we should go after governments or you know private stuff or something like that uh, if you want to see what those are but just have that in the back of your mind I think for another upgrade or two we'll just freeload around the galaxy uh, getting as powerful as we can but until such time. I have been Bacter, this has been uh, Let's Play Duskers. Thanks for joining me, and uh, hopefully, actually hopefully even more excitement next time. Let's just wreck everything, and have a good time while doing so. Catch you next time. Thanks.